making his way through. He's uh, Maverick McNeely. And uh, first time that we've had a chance to cross paths with you. Got an interesting background here. And, uh, you know, your dad, uh, family, brothers, and uh, here you are, Pebble Beach Pro-Am. How do you feel? It's pretty fun. Last time I was here, I was caddying for my dad about four years ago. So it's fun to be playing this time. When did, uh, when did you become more famous than your dad? I, th I think that started when my dad started introducing himself as Mav's dad. Uh, that was a couple, and he likes to call himself formally famous and important, <laughs> but I, I don't buy it. But he was, what did he start, Sun Microsystems? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, do you know anything about that or what your dad was doing to become famous before you became famous? Uh, it, not really. I was pretty young. I was pretty young when he sold the company, probably around 12 or 13, you'd say. Yeah. Um, and, but, you know, I, I've actually spent more time with his startup, Wayne. I actually interned there for a couple of weeks over a couple of summers before college and uh, a lot more uh, familiar with that. And I've also done some work for his uh, startup, Curriki. So um, uh, more, more familiar with those than Sun Microsystems even. When did you start playing golf? I, I can't remember not playing. I think my dad put a, a little plastic club in my hand as soon as I could walk and I just started hitting things. Do you think if you started at 13, 14, 15, you'd be here? Um, well, maybe I think I, I played a ton of sports growing up. I played ice hockey through my senior year of high school. So I was a two sport athlete until I went to college. Um, and I played basketball, soccer, tennis. I swam a little bit. So I, I really only started focusing on golf seriously in college. So, um, I, I think that's the way to go. Honestly. When did you know you were good? Uh, my, my dad told me that I, I have a little, I have an uncanny knack for the game. I remember that we were playing the, the dunes course at Monterey Peninsula and I must've been seven or eight. And he said, I have an uncanny knack for the game, but I was seven and still aiming at cart pass. Cause that was a way to double the driving distance. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it, <laughs> I, I think it was my, my fresh, my sophomore year, I started my sophomore year, Cameron and Patrick Rogers, Cameron Wilson, Patrick Rogers just graduated. Um, I was playing number one on the team. So nervous. Um, I, and I thought someone had to fill that role. And I ended up making seven threes in a row in the final round of the first college event that year and won and just kind of fell into being somewhat decent at golf. It just kind of caught me by surprise, to be honest. What was that, oh my gosh, moment where you're playing with somebody famous? Have you had that yet? Uh, it's, it's more when I walk into player dining and I say, that's a guy I've seen on TV a thousand times. And now he's actually here in person. I remember... Uh, when I qualified for the U S open at Pinehurst, I was 18 years old and I, my dad was caddying for me there and we went into player dining and dad goes, Mav, 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 look, it's Bubba Watson. I go, Shh, dad, he, he can hear you. So, uh, but it, it's all fun. Uh, the name Maverick came from what? Uh, my dad jokes that my mom had a crush on Tom Cruise, but in all actuality, my three younger brothers, <laughs> yeah, where's Goose, right? Yeah, so. yes. <laughs> but in all actuality, my three younger brothers and I are all named after American cars. My dad grew up in Detroit, and my grandpa uh, worked in the auto industry. So Maverick, uh, I think it's a Ford. Uh, Dakota is a Dodge pickup truck. Colt is also a Ford. Or he's, a, he's, a, he's a Dodge, and Scout is a Jeep Scout. Yeah, but so. couldn't he have named you after nicer cars? Uh, well, mine's cool. Like Porsche? or The, the, the Colt is ugly. But, yeah. you know, I, I got a good one. But do you make fun of your brothers because of their names with the cars? Yeah. I, I, or I, just, you pass that? I just don't know how I'm going to top that. I, I might just go with, like, Joe and Bob and Fred. I, I've got no chance. No. So. And, and I like that um, there's rules with Dad. Hat forward. No, yes. no tattoos. No piercings. Is that right? Yeah. Dad says... Um, yeah. He, he, has, he has plenty of one-liners about that. But... Um, like, uh, what, what would your dad do if Seton was, was your... Uh, if I was interviewing uh, at the yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, if your dad saw what Seton's got there with his uh, tattoos. My, my dad would uh, would say he's never seen a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. That's his, that's his most recent wow. one. But, um, wow. No, but it, it's, you know, pants up, hat forward. Shirt tucked indoors. in. Yeah, it's, it's more because we were scared of my mom than my dad. And so. No, that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. That, it's nice. Let's say you won Augusta. Would, and you said, Dad, if I win Augusta, can I get a tattoo? I hear they hurt. Yeah. I, 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 oh, so also, I, I, okay. I, no, oh. I, I don't want to. Uh, the partnership <laughs> with Callaway, uh, yeah. how did that come about? Uh, that, one was, that one was pretty easy, to be completely honest. Uh, right, I was all Nike um, through college. Stanford is a Nike school, and I played all their equipment. And my senior year, they announced they were getting out of the club 
industry or the, the golf club yeah. uh, making. And uh, I toured Callaway, TaylorMade, and uh, Titleist uh, that summer before my senior spring. And uh, what really did it for me is walking through the entire Callaway R&D process. They, they took me through the whole tour, showed me how clubs were made, start to finish, golf ball, everything. And I walked out of there thinking, this is a group of guys that, a group of engineers that are working really hard to nitpick everything they can to make the golf club better. And I thought, I want to be playing their stuff in three, four years because I see what they're putting into it now. Well, that test center is great. Yeah. I brought these awesome. goofballs down there. Yeah. They just, I think they just replaced all the turf that we took up when, when we were down there. They did just redo it. So Yeah, it's yeah. because of these guys right there. If awesome. I have you back in 10 years, what are we talking about? Hopefully some good golf along the way. Um, hopefully some other cool stuff that I've been able to do off the golf course because uh, my dad always tells us to whom much is given, much is expected. And I, it's, it's no secret that I have a lot of amazing opportunities that you know, not many have. And I think it's my job to do everything I can to do something good with that. I'm, I'm not sure how that is right now. And uh, right now I'm just worried about getting that first tee shot in the fairway and, and trying to get status and, and play good golf. But I think there's a lot of amazing golfers and a lot of, and the PJ Tour organization itself is, uh, does some really amazing things. Uh, I think there was a stat there saying that the, the PGA Tour donates annually more to charity than the NHL and MLB, NBA, and NFL combined. So um, I, I think it's a great sport to do good, and, and that's what I'd love to do in 10 years. But you didn't have your own bedroom growing up? No, the, there were four beds lined up. Um, so you and your brothers had, to, we're yeah. on the same room. Yeah, there's, there's four of us. Um, it was nice. The beds were close enough together that when Colt, the one who slept next to me, was snoring, I could grab the pillow from behind my head, <laughs> whack him, and go back and pretend like I was asleep, and, and he wouldn't even know it was me. So. Hey, good luck. Yeah. And uh, it, it's nice to, t nice to meet you with everything, with your background, and uh, certainly got a bright future there. But appreciate thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.